Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. I made this card using a stamp set, I haven't used it before, I've had it a little while. Parcels and petals. And all I'm going to do is use that happy birthday. Birthday cheers to you all year. That's all I'm using on that. But this has all come from some papers that you get free with celebration. And these are the papers. Obviously I've cut off this other bit of this to make the cards today. And then there's that. This is half a You get 12 sheets, so I've brought out six to show you the patterns. I'm not so keen on that one. And then there's that one. Is there another one? There is. That one with bigger flowers on it. And if you flip them over, there's these side which I like better. Oh. There's two of them. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So there's six of these. Put that one back in there. Which are quite nice. So you can get this if you spend £45 or more on the Spring Summer Catalogue due at the 5th of January. And you could choose one of these papers. There is a couple of papers. But I chose this one this time. And then this... I cut out of the middle, I'll show you what I did. So, to make this card you need a card base of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. No. A card base of 8 and a eight and one, eight and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths. Scored up 4 and 1 eighth. Folded in half. Get myself confused here. A piece of Night and Navy at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the top and a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters and a piece of DSP at five and a half by three and three quarters. Now I've already cut the middle out of this as you can see using uh, these aren't stamping up but stamping up do some rectangle dies and I use one of them. Don't have the dies, you can cut the square out using your trimmer. And I was left with this. That's what you got out. Now, on this card, the piece of paper that come out of here, I was able to cut that little decoration out. But as you can see with the bit of paper I got from the middle, there is no decoration that I'm can cut out. So what I'm going to do is just go into this and chop a bit out. Right. There. Chop that out. And now I can cut that flower and then leaves out of there, which I will do. So, to line this up and to make sure the card and the paper were together, I've got my glue there. I just glued one edge and lined it up and then cut it out. And now I can glue all round here, which I'll do now, to keep it down. I didn't want to glue the middle and miss half of it. I don't know if I'm making sense. That way I'm guaranteed, doing it this way, I'm guaranteed getting glue around this opening. Now the reason I've put it on card is to make it firmer because it is actually on um, dimensionals. 
and I just wanted it to be a bit firmer than paper so I could put it on dimensionals so it'll be on like that like that right the middle bit oh I'm gonna cut out of that this piece here I cut that out of the nesting dies which I haven't got hang on I've got the wrong packet out right the front so obviously put the wrong packet back and I cut out this one look at this one I actually did cut out two of these when I made the first card but I made a mistake on the stamping so I had to use the second bit and said I had to cut out another bit and I never did so we'll cut that out now I have a piece of card here but what I'm actually going to do I'm going to stamp first and then cut it out so let's do that I've got my stamp and my night and navy ink I'm going to just sit that on so I know that I get it roughly in the right place and I'm going to put it there That's. doesn't look very nice and navy do it again There we are. And then I'll put that on like that. Put a bit of sticky on it. Stick this on the plate. Trust it to be too big. And put this back in here. These are the stitch so sweetly dies. I don't think I said what those were from stamping up. Oh, that's a many layers dies. Right, don't need that or that. And put them away. Put my head on the glue. Right. We're going to cut out these flowers or flower and leaf. Now I'll try and keep it in camera, but I'm not promising. So all I'm doing is cutting out a flower. A little bit fiddly because it is so small. I'm not worrying about if I've got little bits of white on it because it's going on white so you won't really see it Concentrate. Right. 
I suppose you see many people do this kind of card before where they've stamped the image on the card and then cut it out. Well I just thought that this kind of paper was quite right for um, this kind of card with it being so bold But this piece here is the longest bit of doing this card, cutting these flowers out. Snip. There we are. And this we should just glue flat like that on there. I just think it's really nice. You lot might not think. Pressing the other side down yet to get this underneath. Oh, yeah. So now we can get rid of that. Bring our card back in and we're going to, I'm going to glue this down first. birthday which I'll get in a minute. Right, we want dimensionals. What have I done with them? To here. Right, I've got some scraps here I'm going to use. Just use some normal dimensionals. I 
Right, take all the backings off. this on our card like that nice and this will just get glued in the center here Now the inside, I didn't bring the stamp. Let me see if I can find it. I can't remember which one I used. A happy birthday. Oh, I know which one it was. Itty bitty birthdays. And I just used the happy birthday. going to stamp happy birthday inside like that Is our cards complete? Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>